Hi, my name is Mike Ferraro. Uh, I work with a lot of different level riders and I've been doing it for about 30 years now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you how this district board will help your riding. Uh, the district board is a great board for someone who's looking for a fast board, a poppy board, a board that doesn't require a lot of line, li line load to get pop, and it's just a real user-friendly type of a board. It's not a board that you're going to be real tired at the end of your session on. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a board to sit up high on the water with a really fast rocker line, a board that we can run with some of the older wakes, some of the big steep wakes. So what we did was we have a real flat continuous rocker, a real fast rocker, so we're going to get that board up high. The other thing we did was we kicked the ends of the board. So if you do have a steep wake, the, your board's not going to punch it, so you're going to keep your forward momentum through the wake. It's a real poppy board. As far as the side profile of the board, what we've done is we've tried to come up with a board that's not going to put you on a lock. It's going to stay up high in the water. It's a nice hard type of an edge um, with, with something different than the other Ronix boards are. We're running the flash line or the top meets the bottom of the board down on the bottom. So that's going to keep the board up high and let it run quick up on the boat. So this is more of a skatey, lighter feeling, free flowing board. You're going to get a board that sits high on the water and it's going to swing up on the boat nice and free. So you're not going to have, you're going to be riding with a lot less line load. So for the newer riders that can't deal with all that line load, especially people that are working on 360s or 180s, when you're in the air you're not going to deal with that big pullback from the boat because the, boat, the board does sit higher in the water and will sweep through the turn and get you to the wake nice and easy without really loading up that line. So we have a sharper edge on the inside of the fin that's going to give you a little more traction, but on the outside of the fin, we have a more of a teardrop shape to it, and what that does is it allows you to cheat a little bit more on your 180s and 360s. You don't, you don't get that real grip bite. You can get an early release with it. You can ride the board finless, or you can ride it with a detachable fin that comes attached to the board, um, and that's going to give you quite a bit of grip between the nice defined edge on the inside of the molded in fin, and then also on this slight channel that runs through here. Plus you're bolted on fin, you have all the grip you want.